So there's a couple kind of models and frameworks I want to share with you today that I think will be kind of hopefully eye-opening um, because I think the biggest, two, there are two big problems that people encounter who I work with the most. And I think one, it's not looking to the future and not seeing, okay, this is what I really can make because they're just trying to get out of a bad situation because insurance is declining and we can't generate more as a doctor if I work for someone else. I can, I mean, I can only to a certain level to what insurance will reimburse. So people aren't looking, dreaming, planning, setting big enough goals. And then the other big problem is people don't take action because they think that they're going to fail. They think that if they do it, it'll look stupid. And they think that it's just not ready yet. So a B plus is not what we're looking for. We're not looking for A's in life. In business, the quickest thing that's going to kill your business is perfection. And so 80% is good enough. And I want you guys, you can write that down, 80%. If you're here to learn how to grow your business, start a side hustle, or do something other than work in a job, 80% is good enough. And if you're an intrapreneur, you're working for someone else and helping them grow their business, it doesn't need to be perfect to work. Because now that you're out of school, 100% perfection is no longer the goal. This box on the left is today. So let's choose a time, like three years from now. When we do goal setting, sometimes we choose 10 years, five years, one year. But let's just say three years. Because in general, let's say you're starting a business or taking your business from 10K a month to 20K a month. Like, you can do some stuff in one year, but is that what's really going to get you to having the time, the income, the impact, the experiences that you want? It's going to generally take a little bit more than a year. And a lot can be done in that time. So, But I, let's just choose three years because this is the typical time that I do with my coaching clients is three years. And then we're going to draw four more boxes. So we're going to draw one at the top or, and then one between that one, this one, and this one. Okay, so you've got four. These are four possible futures for you. Okay, the top one is your ideal. Ideal, and then this one is okay. And this one is poor. And then let's call this one disaster. I'm going to draw four little lines right here. Okay, let's just say we teach you everything we know and do everything we can to help you get results. Now, fast forward three years from now. Now, looking back over those three years, what's happened in your life personally and professionally for you to feel like, this is the best decision you ever made. And I want you to answer that in terms of time, income, impact, and experiences. Time. So how much time do you have with your kids, your family, for yourself? How much income do you have? Like, what do you have saved in the bank? What are you generating every month? How many people, impact, are you helping? And what experiences you have. And I'll tell you, most people are going to go, oh man, I want to make $10,000 a month. That doesn't belong in this ideal box. Most people say, oh, I just want to have like a half a day off with my, a week. Or I want to be able to go on vacation without taking a pay cut. That doesn't, that's not ideal. So what I want you to think about is, what is ideal? Like to me, it's being able to come to Disney with my family and pay $5,000 a day for the concierge to take us around to all the, all the rides. It's better than the fast pass. You know, how much time? I want to be able to work on my business and my zone of genius 40 hours a week and I'll spend 10 hours a week doing something else. Or I don't have to go to work if I don't want to and my business is still help hundreds of thousands of people. Impact. For me, it's 100 million people. So I want you to write this down right now. Like, don't, like this isn't a paragraph, but just jot down some numbers. And the reason we look at numbers is because the way you feel and how someone looks at you when you've helped them get a result, those aren't quantifiable. So we have to quantify your ability to help other people in some kind of numbers. And this is personal and business. What, what I want to impress upon you is that when you're trying to get out of a job, just making $4,000 a month seems like a huge deal. But if you look forward and go, how much do I need to, revenue do I need to generate to send my kids to any college they want to go to? 
we can take a vacation without worrying about finances. And we can go where we want. You don't have to go buy a yacht that can park another boat in the yacht. Like, what's going to give you meaning in your life without you stressing about money? Now, we're going to write down some numbers for okay. So what's okay? So okay sounds like this. <clears throat> you're happy and satisfied. So three years from now, we're having this conversation. Looking back, you're like, yeah, man, I'm happy. I'm pretty satisfied. You didn't hit your ideal, but there's nothing wrong. Jot down what does that look like. How much time with your family? How much income are you making? How many people are you helping? And what kind of experience do you have? And then what is poor? And what does disaster look like? What is a disastrous outcome? <clears throat> In time, income, impact, and experiences. And we call it bad, but, I'm, but bad is kind of like poor. So now I want you to draw these lines on your paper. Okay, which line do you think you're on right now? Go ahead and circle it. Which line do you want to be on? Because you can see the curve right here is really steep. If you, three years from now, if you wait to try to jump lines, that's a big gap. This gap right here, that one's almost irrecoverable. But if we did something today, you can see that it's much easier to jump lines. Your one decision, one action step away from moving lines. So put a star on the line you want to be on. Circle the one you don't or the one you think you're on. Now the question I want you to ask yourself is why do you care? Why do you want to jump lines? Why are you here? <laughs> That's the question, right? Why'd you go all this way or spend this time to be here? If you know clearly where you want to go and why it's important to you, it's going to make this decision even easier of what to do next. Like I said, the people that get the best results in my experience coaching people since 2013 are people that are quick to take action, quick to ask for help, quick to share. But it's really it boils down to taking action and knowing why. Because otherwise, that's when you sit on the fence if you don't have a very clear idea why, why it's important to you and why it's important to other people. That's what gets me up every day, and that's what got me here. So the next question I want to ask you is, how much longer do you want to wait? 